back in the house of Tough Garage. All right, welcome back guys. I'll just show you a quick little update once again, just like last week's one on what's been going on here on main project, the TF Cortina. Um, let's get started. Okay, so I bought this funky little heater, uh, 12 volt heater from eBay. Um, 33 bucks, something like that. Didn't cost much. Uh, it's supposed to um, do the job. Uh, they use them in caravans and stuff like that, or cars that don't come out with heaters. So it's got a dual outlet, as you can see. I was just testing uh, because these outlets here are 40 mil, and these hoses, uh, which are from the Cortina, are 50 mil. I just wanted to see if they closed up enough, and they do. So with a 40 mil clamp. Um, they do close up enough to be tight on there. The problem being, these are the hoses that came with it. They're like an aluminium type hose, uh, which extends, I'll just show you. They close in, see how they sort of squash down, sort of squash down like that, and then you can extend them, uh, obviously to the length that you want, and then you can bend them and they stay in shape. But, what I needed to do, I wanted, needed to extend them quite a way out, obviously because I need to have this at a flexible enough spot where I can connect this up to the air divider, which is inside the car. So I don't have to connect this end first, I was just testing like I said. I need to connect this end first in the car and then connect this end up as I'm putting in the console and have the console sit in place. These are a bit of a pain because they, they're so stiff and they weren't quite long enough and when you try to pull them because they're very fine aluminium they just tear and we can't have that so these seem to be stronger yeah they're like a um they're like a uh, rubber and then they've got a wire lining which is the uh, original ford sort of setup and they're much stronger so i wanted to try and use these they look like they will do the job so i've just got to connect them up in the car um, so while I'm at it, I'll pull the whole thing apart uh, because a few of you guys weren't quite sure on how it all worked and how the venting went. So I'll lay it out on the bench and you'll get to see how it all works. Okay, so there's the whole system pulled out of the car. I've just tried to temporarily set it up here on the bench just to show you guys how it all works. So these are the vents that feed the windscreen. They're the original ones from Ford. As you can see underneath this, there's the third one. This is the one that I created with the bracket that mounts it and the new inlet. So that's made out of aluminium, like a flange, for instance. Here's the other one that feeds the third one. So it'll branch off here. You can see the rib nuts that just bolts into there. And this hose connects into this inlet. So 
That's the only foreseeable problem I can see is that it might not get enough airflow and feed enough into there. But originally the air would flow into this casing and then get diverted to all sorts of weird angles and it worked. So it should still be okay. This is the new uh, backing that sits behind the face vents. I had to angle it like that so that it could get past um, this third vent and the controllers. These original Ford hoses, they come and they connect to here. So they go like that. This is the air divider. So it used to feed, well, the, the base part that's on the bench is where the air used to come in through. And then it's got the divider inside, which this cable still controls. And it would divide to floor or windscreen or completely off and then would feed your face or the, the, the face fence. So now I've blocked off the floor ones, created these, which now connect these hose to and go to face. And these are the actual air feeds now. So air gets fed in through here from the heater and then goes gets divided and goes out to the windscreen or to your face. So there's no more floor. But I didn't really need the floor, I just needed more windscreen more than anything. Face also doesn't really matter, but if it gets to work, then great. So yeah, so this feeds into those. Anyway, let's paint it and put it all back together. Alright, there's all the bits painted in satin black. I put a little bit of sponging on this as well because this has got to go here and that'll seal up neatly so no air can escape that port. There's the center vent all done, all painted. Alright, let's put it back in. Okay, so it's been a few weeks since I last uh, did any work on the car. As you would have seen, that was me installing the um, heater fan system that I created. Uh, sadly, the fans were absolutely gutless. So, um, me depending on all the fans uh, doing all the work um, for the design that I had created, the fans were gutless. Uh, they're little PC fans, they're just 60mm PC fans, and they didn't do anything. They were blowing nothing. I ended up getting um, another PC fan to try. These are supposedly the most powerful, or rated at, at the most powerful fan you can get for the same size. So I got that, tried that as well. It didn't do anything, no difference whatsoever as far as I could notice. Um, I was running it off this half dead battery uh, so I thought I'd run it off um, a battery that's connected to a car while the car was running. So it's getting it's 12 volts or 14 volts, whatever. Useless. Didn't do anything. So guys, sorry about that for the ones that were all expecting this to work. And I noticed a few of the guys were like, oh, that's a great idea. The nice little heater unit. You can just put it in the center console. The same sort of thing as I did. And then, you know, you can get rid of your normal heater and clear up all that space in the engine bay. But it's crap. But, look what I found. So I was rummaging through the shed to find some spare parts and here's the old fan. Now, here's the box with the little heater unit. Here's the fan. Huh? Huh? Can you tell? Can you tell what I'm thinking here? Okay. So it's pretty much the same size. So I might do something with that. I've got to create obviously some sort of ducting so that the fan can sit in it, uh, sort of housing or whatever, so the fan can sit in it. And then, you know, blow all that air and send it into the divider so it can divide air into the screen and the face and all that stuff. But the sizing looks good. It looks like it will fit. So I'll muck around with that later. I don't want to do that sort of thing now. It's just, you know, made me angry, basically. 
um, all that work sort of not down the drain but you know I was expecting it to work and it didn't uh, which is a mistake on my behalf because I you know I shouldn't have assumed I should have tested things out before I sort of started but anyway um, I'll muck around with that later it can be done later it doesn't it's not going to affect you know the process of how I'm going with the car anyway so I'll muck around with that later and um, I'm sure I'll work something out. I'm pretty confident that I'll, I'll get something to work. These things are extremely powerful, uh, the, the original fans, so it will blow enough air then. Okay. The heating element part of the heater does work well. Uh, it does heat up enough that you would notice the heat. Um, so that's not too bad. So I'll keep that part integrated at all. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll muck around with that later. The other thing I've been working on I got myself a bonnet bulge of a six cylinder Cortina uh, TCTD. It had a sort of um, vent cut out or grill, whatever cut out into the front of it just to get some air from the previous owner. I've filled that in and welded it over. As you can see, it's been quite a while. It's now started to surface rust a little bit here where I've um, bare metaled it. I can clean that up later. But that's the other thing I was sort of just doing just for a you know interim period just to keep me busy I'll weld it onto the bonnet later but for now that's all good so yeah that's the latest on the car and latest update but I'll show you a little toy that I got for Chrissy okay so I got myself one of these I'm at the age now where I don't um ask for gifts, I just get my own and say that it's from the family. So this is a easy beat as it's uh, otherwise known. So you've got your little trigger there, this connects to it, this you just sort of you know connect to bare metal like that and then the slide hammer part allows you to pop dents out so um, it just sticks, pop the dent out, twist it it disconnects from the, from the bare metal onto the next part, bang, 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 bang. And you pull dents out that you can't get to the back of with this thing. I had to change the plug, it was a 16 amp plug. Uh, I had to change it to a 15 amp plug because we don't have 16 amp um, power points or whatever here, uh, readily, readily available. So I changed that over, it now fires up. Uh, I haven't tested it on the actual car yet, but yeah, it comes with all the goodies, it comes with see these to get creases out when you've got like a sharp crease uh, it's got a heavier slide hammer for studs and stuff like that because I used to have a stud welder type one of these but it was way too harsh to use on, on just tiny dents that you can't get hold of comes with all these accessories these um, carbon rods they're called these go onto it and then you if you've got a, a um, low spot that you want to raise up or shrink for, for metal shrinking you sort of, this is like a magic wand type thing, you just sort of rub it along the panel like that it heats up the whole area then you cool it down with a wet rag and it um, pops it out or keeps it out pretty pretty awesome stuff you've got your little weld uh, washers and these pull tab type things see these, so these will weld onto the panel like that get the slide hammer onto it, boom, boom, boom. pop them out these are for these, so you can pull all at once in one go if you need to, that's pretty cool. Um, the little replacement stars for the end of the welder, see those replacement tips um, for the slide hammer, all sorts of gizmos. This one, I don't know what that's going to do, because um, it's got to go onto bare steel to make contact and, and arc. But anyway, yeah, it came with all that for a fairly decent price. Um, hopefully it lasts, I guess. Um, I've had some good luck with previous sort of cheapy uh, Chinese type tools that I've, you know, um, worked with. This little TIG that I've got here, Rossi, um, that wasn't expensive either. It's an ACDC TIG welder and works very well. Um, so it should be, should be good. Uh, I need it for the roof because I've got some dents on the roof here that I don't have access to the back of. Um, I've had, I have access to that area, but this area here, I don't know if you can see that there's a dent there. Um, I can't get any tool into it. Uh, I haven't got a spoon or a like a pry bar type um, dolly uh, yet. I'll, I'll probably get one anyway. 
but I, you know, I can't get into that area to try and get that den out. So I'll try that with the easy beat, try and pop that out and start getting some of this roof nice and straight and solid and um, body worked. So yeah, I'll be starting with the roof because it's a, you know, the longest and the, lo the longest panel and it's part of the shell. So it doesn't move, it doesn't need adjustment. It just needs to be straight. So I'll start with that and then we'll move on to the quarters and all those sort of surrounding areas. The actual shell, not, not worrying about hanging panels yet. Get all them 100%, make sure they're all straight and everything, and then I'll start on the hanging panels. But yeah, that's it guys, that's the latest. Sorry I haven't got any more, but yeah, it's um, school holidays and you know festive holidays and stuff like that have just passed. So, you know, I'm trying to do as much things as I can with the kids or whatever. But yeah, soon enough, I've already back to work, so soon enough the kids will be back at school. Well, one will be, because the other one's finished. And, um, and I'll get a bit more time or whatever to, to get stuck into the car. Anyway, until next time. See you guys.